Thank you for your time today. It's your inner friend, Rachel G. I am not a preacher, teacher, or in any ministry. I will just be sharing my thoughts on why I always wear skirts. The most common question I get is, why do you wear skirts? Before I moved to Horse and Boogie, Pennsylvania with the Amish and Mennonites, I grew up in the streets of Brooklyn, New York, where strange was everywhere, but my modesty was still questioned. It may look like I symbolized a past world where women were treated unfairly, but I grew up as a feminist. I was president of US First Robotics and went on to be a commercial architectural designer for the past 10 years. I was typically the only woman in the room, if not building, and now I own multiple businesses, all in a skirt. I'm going to leave references in the description if you care for all the details, but before the 1960s, all, and I mean all women, wore skirts. Unlike the rest of the world, the U.S. was founded on Christian values, which especially then included women wearing long skirts. So what changed? During World War I, the men were shipped overseas and the women took over the men's job. This was the beginning of women wearing pants, but it was still uncommon for women to wear pants outside of work. During World War I, the nurses in France noticed that the cellulose they used for bandages absorbed blood much better than cotton. They began using it for their menstrual cycle, and the company Codex acquired leftover cellulose from the war to introduce a new highly absorbent disposable sanitary napkin. It's also worth noting that tampons were invented in 1933. This is significant because without pads, it would be more practical to wear skirts so you can clean yourself multiple times a day and it would also avoid getting blood on your clothing. Pregnancy was also a convenient reason to wear skirts. Skirts and dresses are forgiving to a growing stomach, whereas pants are not. This was useful, especially when pregnancy was normal. But in the 1960s, the birth control pill was approved. In 1962, it was an instant hit. After two years, 1.2 million American women were on the pill. And after three years, the number doubled to 2.3 million, which led to the sexual revolution in the 1960s to the 1980s. And we can't forget the influence of Hollywood and Katherine Hepburn, who was an actress that continuously shocked people by wearing pants. But before this perfect storm in the 1960s, why did women always wear skirts? Well, it's in the Bible. In Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. But there's a bunch of rules in the Bible, so why do I follow some rules and not others? Well, some rules end with, it's an abomination unto Israel, and others end with, it's an abomination unto God. And since God is supposed to be all-knowing, if God was to change, that implies growth, and that means he's not omnipotent, or as the Bible says, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So some rules were for humanity, especially pertaining to cleanliness, but humanity changes. God doesn't. Besides character, there are only a few things that are an abomination unto God in the Bible. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Rachel G, everyone wore skirts back then. In Genesis 3 verse 21, after Adam and Eve sinned, it says, the Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. So whatever this difference in clothing was, God himself invented it. And yes, it may look like men and women wore dresses, but there was one small difference. And it's addressed as girth thigh loins, where men would pull the garment in between their legs, essentially making it pants, so it would be easier to fight in, battle, ride horses, and work. Now, I see great grace in that there are no specific measurements in our garments, 
Whereas Noah's Ark and the temple that we don't need to build today are laid out in great details in the Bible. Otherwise, it would be nearly impossible to follow. All God asks is to be modest. What that is, is between you and God. As my wonderful husband said, wearing a skirt won't make you have a relationship with God. Having a relationship with God, though, will show you what to wear. Thank you for your time. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Find me on Instagram, Rachel G underscore YouTube. Thank you for all your likes and share, and I always look forward into reading your comments. So let me know below, what is your idea of modesty, and can you still be modest in pants? Have a blessed, beautiful day.